All right, so now we have learned how to specify the data types for different columns. Now, what if you don't want to read in um, all the columns in your data set, right? Say, let us say we have uh, six columns, right? And I don't want to read in the first two columns. Those categorical data, I'm not going to read them in. I just want to read in the uh, last four columns, right? So let us see how we can do that. So here we are basically trying to skip some columns. So we'll read the same file, read underscore CSV. It's in the data folder. So hsp2.csv here. And then now again, I'm going to specify the column types here, right? Even when you're trying to skip data, use the call types argument, use a list function, because you have, you're going to give a list of data types. But instead of using call underscore factor, I'm going to tell reader to skip this particular column, right? I want to skip the first two columns. So I'm going to use call underscore skip twice. The next two columns are integer. So we'll use call underscore integer for read and write. Score is um, numeric or double because it has decimal points. So we'll use call underscore double. And finally, status is logical, right? It has true and false values. So here we'll use logical, right? So let us read in this data set. Right, so now you can see it has just read in the four columns, right? We have six columns in this data set. But we said that we want to skip the first two columns, right? And we used call underscore skip to indicate to radar that the first two columns must be skipped. Here you can see it has skipped those first two columns and it has just read the last four columns, right? You can see there are 200 rows. Now don't worry about those warning messages. Uh, they'll be coming. You don't uh, need to worry about that. There's no issue there. But remember this, when you want to skip a column, use the call underscore skip function within the list.